44 panels and um, ladder. Uh, those are what we are going to use for today. And then tomorrow uh, we shall use uh, the controllers. We will do commissioning. The Meru project is a very interesting project that the company has done. Indeed, it is the largest project um, we have done in Kenya, valued at 590 million shillings. The origin of this project was a tender. The county government of Meru decided to go out for an open tender for 100 boreholes. In uh, the governor's manifesto, provision of water is a key uh, project of uh, the governor. Uh, we promised you to provide uh, the great uh, people of Meru County with water in all the parts of the county so that they can be economically empowered. The interesting part of this project is, of course, uh, we had to have a partnership. We had a partnership with Maji Africa, who are the drillers. And we also brought in other drillers, a number of our customers who are drill, drilling farms, and we put them together to be able to drill uh, these boreholes. It is the largest project in value, um, but it is one of the same things we do. It's one borehole, um, just having many of those boreholes being done. So this is, and that's why we put it under the project team, because then in project management, you need to be able to schedule the work phase after phase after phase, and bring it together all the resources that are necessary. So what we did was to nominate one of our engineers as a project engineer, Dennis, who we put in the field, and the, the other contractors who are also on the field. So he basically monitors what is going on. This is my fifth month now, running with this project. It's an ambitious project, doing 100 boreholes. So far we've done over 90% of the project. So my role basically has been coordinating all the works. We have several teams, the drillers, who do the drilling of the boreholes. Then we have test pumping units that come in, test, then we get the results. We, I give the information to our office in Nairobi, who then design the pumps. From the design now, they send the equipment to me. Now, from my end, I have another lot of like four teams that do the installations. We have four technicians. One concentrates basically on the installation of the pumps. We have two teams that basically concentrate on erecting the structures. And then we have another team that runs with mounting the panels and then doing the wiring and pumping the water to the service. From there then, our civil contractors come in, they do the, con the pipe work from the borehole to the tank, and then from the tank to the kiosk. We have our storage for basically all the materials that we require. We have the casings, the gravel, and all other materials for the tanks. Our, we have our container here, where we store our pumping equipment, the solar panels, the pumps, the pipes, and all those things. So basically this is like a central point for this project. We expect more and more of these tanky projects to be coming along because there has been challenges before where a county will separate the drilling job and the civil works job and the installation job. But at the end of it, you find that the jobs are not, are not successful. But in this particular case where they took up a tanky project, it becomes very easy to manage because one contractor is essentially responsible for the hydrogeological reports survey, doing the drilling, doing the civil works, up to the installation and ensuring that commissioning is done. The sub-county is a water scarce sub-county. Uh, people used to rely on a uh, few water projects that draw the water from, uh, from the hills or from the lower Imenti forest, but this water is not enough. So with this project, at least we expect most of the residents can now access water at, uh, at uh, shorter distance and easily. We used to use uh, water from uh, a water project from a round called Mawea, Mawea Water Project. I think the new system is uh, much, much better. For one, the water project was charging us quite some money. We were paying around 9000 per month. But this one is totally free. So we are really enjoying the water freely. And as you can see, we've already started uh, doing the farming. So that maybe we can even sell some of the vegetables 
as an income generating project. <laughs> When we get this one, we're going to transform this area. Oh. We're going to plant uh, fruits, we're going to plant uh, crops, some crops, food crops, yeah. And we're going to become, uh, yeah, there we know we have a lot of problems in food. We've already done a kitchen garden uh -huh. that has produced a lot. The vegetables, we don't buy them anymore. You know, that's money saved. Now we are able to concentrate on other important projects. In this. Very soon. We are seeing an influx into the population of the school. Because when people are sure that these are conducive environment to work from, then they will come from far. Hi, my is in a two and balisana. I'm a kilometer tattoo to talk up. Eh, they get a better wounda, a better wounda, what to come to my wound and a cooper. Eh, Maji to no fair sana. Jusa samberen drugo tu na enda kuchota maju kuchini sem kama kilomita biri kama kilomita tano ifi kutoka apa na kuingine na enda unakuta mama amenda kuchota maju kutoka asubui saa kumi na biri ana potoka nyumbani ifi kufika nyumbani kitu saa tano. There are committees that have been set up which will run these boreholes once once the project is complete. These committees have already identified the people who will operate the pumps. They have provided us these people, and we have trained them on operation and maintenance of the of the of the boreholes, and that basically ensures that sustainability is there. Then from there, we have the tank where we pump the water to. When the sunshine has eight in the morning, the pump will come on directly. How how would you rate the Davis Initiative's uh, contribution here? Uh, they have uh, done quite well with the projects that uh, we have done with them. They have drilled for us 100 boreholes and already we have 97 that are functional and these boreholes are solar powered. So we are happy about uh, the work that we have done. So would you recommend it to other counties? Definitely yes. They have done a good job with us. We have no reason to complain. <laughs>